Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest media reports, Hindustan Aeronautics has signed a deal with Israel's Eltis Systems for 83 active electronically scanned array radars and an equal number of EW suites to be fitted on the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. The deal was signed with the Israeli firm for the two compatible systems after it emerged as the lowest bidder. The first squadron of Rafale fighter jets is likely to be raised at the Ambala Air Force Station in March 2019. The Hasamara Air Force Station will have the second squadron of the Rafale fighter jets, and it is expected to be ready in the next two years. It has been undergoing upgradation in some crucial areas, and the work of resurfacing the runway has been started, and it is expected to be completed in the next six months. According to sources, the renovation work of the hangars at the airbase is focused on dual use, which would allow to accommodate both the Rafale aircraft and the Su-30 alternatively. The Eastern Fleet Commander of the Indian Navy has said that the first of the four Grigorov each class stealth frigates is likely to be inducted into the Indian Navy in the next three years. He also said, that two Sindhugh class submarines are currently undergoing midlife refit and life extension in Russia, and the first submarine would be ready for re-induction in 2019, and the second one by 2020. The re-induction of the two submarines would further strengthen operational capability of the Navy, and it would be combat capable for the next 10 years. According to latest media reports, Hindustan Aeronautics has test flown a prototype of its light utility helicopter up to an altitude of 6 km, and will conduct high altitude cold weather trials in January 2019. Flying at 6 km altitude is considered to be a critical requirement for the certification of the light helicopter. Hindustan Aeronautics has an in-principle order for 187 light utility helicopter, including 126 for Indian Army and 61 for the Indian Air Force. India and Russia are set to finalize the modalities of the logistics support agreement during the meeting of the India-Russia Intergovernmental Commission on Military Technical Cooperation on 14 December. India's intention to lease another Akula class submarine at $3.3 billion will also come up for discussion during the meeting this week. The two sides will also review the progress on the government-to-government -government agreement, under which the AK-103 rifles will be produced at India's Ordnance Factory Board. India has also selected the Russian Igla system, for the $1.5 billion contract for the supply of 5,185 very short-range air defense system to the Indian Army. According to latest reports, India has successfully tested the Agni-5, and this is the seventh test of the indigenously developed surface-to-surface -surface system. The first two flights in 2012 and 2013 were in open configuration, and the third, fourth and fifth tests were from canister integrated with a mobile launcher, that enables launch in a shorter time as compared to an open launch. According to latest media reports, Russia has completed the delivery of the last batch of five Su-35 fighter jets to China, and the aircraft are now based with the 6th Aviation Brigade in southeastern China. China had purchased 24 fighter jets for $2.5 billion in late 2015, and it became the first foreign customer of the Su-35, and it has already deployed its Su-35 on patrol missions in the South China Sea. According to latest media reports, the Indian Navy chief has commissioned the deep submergence rescue vessel in the Navy. The submarine rescue vessel along with associated equipment will enhance the capability of the Indian Navy as a center of regional excellence for submarine rescue services. The Indian Air Force chief is currently on a trip to Japan, during which he will meet the Japanese Defense Minister and senior officials of the Self-Defense Forces. 
The visit is intended to further strengthen the existing defense cooperation between the air forces of the two countries, and pave the way for greater interaction and cooperation in future. China has expressed hope on the resumption of military exercises between the armies of India and China, and expected to yield good results for the improvement of bilateral ties. Both sides would field 100 personnel to take part in the 7th edition of the military exercise, and will promote understanding between the two militaries and improve their capabilities.